Hi everyone, this is practice summative of chapter two, paper one, question number three. So in the diagram, in the answer space, we are supposed to sketch a graph y equals to fx that satisfy the following condition. So you look at the point A, B, C, they are all on the curve. And the f prime is the, the notation with, uh, that represent the gradient function, the gradient function. Okay, now once we substitute a specific value in f prime, the x a, which is the coordinates of x for point A, that will be the gradient value at point A. Gradient of tangent to the curve to the curve at point A. All right. Now, so we know that the gradient at uh, the gradient of tangent at A, point A, equals to the gradient of tangent at point B, equivalent to the, ten, the gradient of tangent at point C. They're all zero, which means the point A, B, C, they are the turning point, okay? They are the turning points. All right, it's either positive or negative, okay? And then we have another information that um, this F double prime, now the F double prime indicates the second order of derivative, okay? Second order, second derivative. Normally we use the second derivative to check whether it is maximum or minimum. And we know that uh, the second order of derivative at point C is the smallest, uh, followed by point B, followed by point A. Okay, we still do not know what is that. And lastly, we are given that the second derivative at point B is zero. So with that, from part C, F double prime, coordinate x of point C less than the coordinates at B less than the second derivative of point A. Okay, now if this is zero and anything that is less than zero will be negative value and anything that is greater than zero will be positive value. Okay, so when it is negative value, we know that it is the set phase graph. So we have the maximum point. Okay, C is the maximum point. And when we have a positive value of second derivative, it is the smiling phase. And therefore, point A will be our minimum. Okay, and therefore, when is it that our second derivative is equals to zero? When we have the inflection point. Okay. So we have point of in B is point of inflection. Okay, now so we have to sketch this graph. It never tells us the where the A, B, C. Uh, we only know about the condition of the gradient. So we can just sketch. All right, we can just sketch like this. We have point C, maximum point. And then after that, we have the minimum point. So this will be the A. The inflection point is when it was, we expect the gradient to change the direction, but yet it continue to, to be in the same uh, direction. So this is point B. And therefore this one will be point C. Now you may also give this kind of graph. Okay, doesn't really matter where your graph intersect as long as it is in this shape or we can draw in a uh, laterally inverted shape as well. So let's say we have A here and then we have the C here. So C is here, the inflection point B is here and the minimum point A is here. So both graphs are acceptable. Okay, that's it for question number three.